Welcome back guys to Rob A's Nerf Tutorials. This is part two of uh, painting the Nerf Strife. And in the last episode we went ahead and we disassembled uh, the blaster. And uh, now we've got it ready for our base coat of paint. Um, so basically uh, I'm going to kind of just go down the whole spiel with you. And uh, you know, even if, even if you've seen uh, one of my other Nerf Tutorials. Um, you should, you know, just just refresh. It's fine. Um, we're not reinventing the wheel here. But uh, so basically, you want to make sure that uh, your area is clear of uh, the dust. So we're just going to use a quick thing of that. Uh, you want to make sure you're going to be in a well-ventilated area. Ideally, you want to be outside uh, to do this kind of painting. Um, but since my outside currently has, you know, three three and a half feet of snow, uh, I'm stuck indoors. So just make sure it's well ventilated. Uh, wear a mask if you can. Uh, you know, that's that's always good stuff because you don't want this crap in your lungs. This is the bottom line. You just don't. It's gross. Um, and it gets all in your nostrils. It's terrible. Uh, so anyway, we're just going to go ahead and put our black base coat on. And I use uh, this stuff, fast dry spray paint. <laughs> super duper cheap. This is like 98 cents. Uh, I got it at Walmart, uh, but wherever will do. Uh, and the reason I use this super cheap stuff is because this is actually the flattest black that I've found. Um, and it works well and it dries quickly uh, despite it being cheap. I can't speak to the decency or, you know, I can't speak to the quality of any of their other colors other than flat black because this is the only one that I use. Um, for the base coats, um, but uh, you know, other than that, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this shaken up really well. Uh, one quick note I did put some, uh, it's hard to tell because it is orange electrical tape, but I did put electrical tape uh, just around the flywheels just to keep those free of paint and other debris. Uh, but anyway, just gonna go ahead and get this thing. nice and shaken. Uh, we're going to kind of do a little test. There we go. That's good. And you want to hold the paint about, you know, 10 inches away, 8 to 10 inches away from the project just so you don't get a bunch of, uh, you know, droplets of paint. So it doesn't go on too thick. You can kind of control, you know, what you're doing. And for the first base coat, we just want to make sure that we're just kind of covering it. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time around because we're going to do multiple coats of the base coat. So there will be some orange still left, and that's that's fine. That's okay. So you can see we're already getting you know, well underway. It covers pretty quickly. I'll just go ahead and do the other side here. And as you can see, I'm not doing continuous spray. And the reason for that, again, is because I just want, like, you just want to create almost like a dusting of paint on top of the surface. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow the further, you know, the future coats that you put on there uh, to adhere better. That, I, that may not have any basis in science, uh, but this is the... Uh, the result that I've found, you know, in in practice. So we've got a base coat down, and uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all we need to do for right now. Uh, so I'm going to pause the video here. I'm going to give this time to dry uh, fully, so probably about 15, 20 minutes. Come back, just touch it, see how it feels to the touch. Again, like I said, this paint specifically dries very quickly. Um, for the metallics and other like more glossy paints uh, that we'll be using later, uh, there'll obviously be a longer dry time on those. Uh, but for now, we're just going to give it you know 15, 20 minutes. We're going to check it and see how it feels, and if we can put another coat on. If that's the case, then that's what we'll do. Uh, so I'm going to go. I don't know. I'm going to go make a sandwich. Actually, I haven't had lunch yet, so I'm going to go do that, and I'll see you guys in just a moment. Okay, guys. So. 
we've got our black pretty much done here. It looks good. I did a couple of coats, and uh, as you can see, it's, it looks fairly decent. Uh, I did run into a little bit of a snag, um, and that is that uh, there is actually an exposed piece of barrel uh, attached to the flywheel system. You can see it there, and on this side, it's uh, obviously been painted black. So my options are I can uh, detach I can detach the flywheel system and pull it out and uh, and spray it uh, with the you know same color that we're using on the barrel, or I can hand paint it with a similar color. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, uh, so for now I'm just going to put these pieces aside, uh, and we're going to start with our uh, other copper copper color that's going to go on these. Uh, these bits here. So we're going to go ahead and switch these out. Just going to pop this here, pop this here, kind of get these bits out of the way. You can see my little, little bit of my collection set up there. All right, <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead, we're going to stick that guy like that. Actually, what, what I'm going to do here is because just for the sake of making sure it looks you know, nicey nice. I want to keep the uh, I want to keep the the barrel itself facing down. Uh, so we're just gonna stick it on one of these little alligator clips, and I'm actually just gonna take the clip off because we don't we don't really need the clip on there itself. So there is that, and uh, I'll put the camera down for just a moment. Here we go. Ooh, that didn't work at all. Now you're inside the box. So we're gonna do the uh, the other half of this, of course. Let's see the side that's gonna show. I'm gonna do the uh, the barrel. Which will go. All oh, that will slide in there. Okay, so we'll just leave that for now. The trigger. The two hook pieces. Which are going to fall over anyway, so we'll just do one one side at a time, and of course these little bits and bobs, all the various triggers and things like that. We're just going to kind of put here. So we've got all that going, and uh, I've got my metallic copper. This is Rust-Oleum Metallic brand. I'm just going to get it good and shook up. And once again, we want to do a little test spray here. Make sure everything's coming out all right. And then, again, super light kind of base coat. Staying kind of far away because we just want to get everything kind of coated. We don't want to, you know, assault these pieces with the paint because A, they're on kind of, you know, plastic. So the paint may not be fully ready to adhere uh, very well. And we want to make sure that we give. Like the, the lighter the paint dust is, the less likely it is to kind of beat up and be an issue for us. So you really want to just go super, super light. And, uh, and we're just going to go ahead and let that rest and dry and uh, figure itself out. So I'm going to pause it here and when we come back we'll check the finished pieces. Okay, guys. Well, so <laughs> after I, uh, you know, figured out what I was going to do, I ended up just spray painting it. And uh, how I did that was obviously I coated, well, I covered the entire uh, gun basically with the exception of just the wires. Just be very careful with the wires because they can, you know, stretch too far and break. That is not a crazy strong connection there. Um, but I just went ahead and sprayed that little part 
uh, the copper color. And we're just going to go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll deal with that in just a moment. So putting that off to the side, all of our other copper pieces, as you can see, they're nice, they're shiny, and they're done. Uh, there's a little missing spot there, but that's okay. It's going to be hidden by the weapon itself. So <clears throat> what we're going to do now with these bits is uh, we're going to actually add another color on this. And uh, this one is actually going to be one of my favorites. Rust-Oleum Antique Brass Metallic. I was so excited to find another can of this. I'd been unable to find it locally uh, for the longest time, and then it showed up. So I was really, really happy to see it. Um, <clears throat> now, just be aware, it does not really uh, show up that well on just bare plastic. It has a tendency to beat up. Uh, so you want to make sure you have a coat of something else underneath. In this case, we're going to kind of antique these brass pieces with the antique brass. There we go. So once you get that going, just a little bit of a spray. And this one is, like I said, it has a tendency to beat up, so it goes on really thick. So you want to definitely keep kind of a nice distance away. And then just really light spritzes ought to do it. Just like so. And then you just want to let that dry completely. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and turn this around a little bit, just going to kind of get it on that side. And I'll do it on the, uh, the little bit of brass that is sticking out from the, um, from the motor as well. Uh, but I'll just do that off camera. It's just going to take a second. So once these pieces are nice and dry, uh, then we're going to go ahead and add our very last uh, bit of spray paint, which is actually just going to be more of the flat black. And I'm just going to do that right around the barrel, uh, just so it you know has that kind of like airbrushed sort of uh, powder burned kind of look to it, because uh, that's kind of the effect that we want to go for uh, here. Do this a little bit just so it matches that. And uh, we'll just let that dry and we'll check it out. And if it looks good, then we can move on to our next phase. Alrighty, so just to show you guys what's going on, uh, we've got our main pieces finished. This is kind of the unfinished copper. And then this is the uh, antique brass, which I just like the look of. And uh, we're just going to add a little bit of the flat black to the barrel of the weapon. First I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the inside of this thing. So we've got that going on. And then for the barrel, we just want to go a little quick, quick little shots from a decent distance away. Um, and it's going to kind of just look a little bit darker in spots, like so. Uh, nothing crazy. We don't want it too, too drastic of a difference. Um, because we don't want it to detract from the overall, you know, from the brass underneath. But we just want to get a little bit of that black, blackened, kind of charred look um, going. So 
there we go. That is all of our spray painting done. And uh, I think that's going to be quite enough uh, for this episode. Uh, so in the next episode, we are going to start doing our detail painting on all of these pieces. And then we're going to go ahead and put this gun back together and uh, have it nice and complete and see, see how cool it is and uh, make sure it still works. <laughs> so I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for the next, uh, next one, which I'll get done as soon as I possibly can. I know this one took a couple of extra days um, just because I have a lot going on right now. So I do apologize, but uh, we're going to get a pretty cool looking Nerf gun going out of this. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.